Hey everyone, it's John Morley, and welcome once again to my YouTube channel, Positive Vibrational Waves. And I thank you for stopping by and checking out my channel and watching my uh, inspirational and helpful videos to help make your life even better than it already is. So tonight, I want to talk about how others can have impacts on your life. What do I mean by that? Well, when we talked about something a few days ago, we said that how you respond to a situation is so priceless. Meaning that if you are negative about a situation, maybe someone else is in a bad mood, and then you respond badly to that person, if you would have just ignored it and realized that maybe they're having a bad day, you would probably see that their attitude would change shortly thereafter because you didn't fuel it and their attitude basically kind of course corrected. But what I want to really focus on is the fact that other people will change how they are based on a perception of how you are. Again, a very wise person once said, Dr. Wayne Dwyer, Dr. Wayne Dwyer, uh, say that a hundred times fast, it's like a tongue twister. Uh, he died a couple years ago. But one of the things he said was that when we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change. So how is it that you can have a better day when, you know, maybe you get up in the morning and maybe something doesn't go right? It could be you bumping your head or hitting your foot. The key, ladies and gentlemen, is to not realize what you did and just move on. Okay, I bumped my foot or I bumped my head and maybe it hurts for a second but I'm gonna get over it and I'm gonna have a great day. And that's what I think I wanna drive home to everyone here is that you have the power to actually live a great day even if the day didn't start off very well. The other thing you're gonna notice is that when you are positive, other people that are negative either A, won't talk to you or B, will just kind of leave you alone or just not be there. So positive energy will not stay around if someone is negative. So if someone is that negative and you are so positive, your positiveness is going to push them away. But that's okay. They'll go away and you'll keep having your positive attitude. The takeaway today is that we have a choice in life to live with positivity or live with live live with negativity another tongue twister there so if we choose to live in positivity every single day of our life we will start to notice that little things start to happen in your life things open up new possibilities are there and even when a situation may seem very gloom and gray and dull you're going to start to see a silver lining. Maybe what you look at changed because, you know, you took your mind off the fact that, hey, okay, I'm not happy with this or what I'm doing, but I'm going to keep focusing on it because I need to get this done. And your brain's going to basically switch. Because remember I talked about the chattering monkeys. Well, they're there. And there's a part of your brain that wants to keep you focused on your task. And once you get engaged in your task, then the other part of your brain is not going to bother you anymore because you're so into the task that your brain has to complete it. So how is it then that we deal with people that are deliberately, I don't want to use the word malicious, but let's say deliberately having the intent to rain on your parade, probably the best way to say it. What does that mean? 
Well, maybe you're having a great day and someone else is not quite happy with the day you're having because they're not having a great day. So what do they try to do? They try to rain on your day. They try to make your day miserable. But what actually winds up happening, ladies and gentlemen, is they don't really make you miserable. They make themselves miserable. You see, our world is karma. And whatever we do to someone else actually will bounce back. So if we try to be negative to someone, okay, that negativeness is actually going to bounce back tenfold and actually harm us. If we are extremely positive, that positiveness is going to just, you know, reverberate back onto us. So I think that's a real um, interesting thing. I would like to end tonight's session with just a brief relaxation, not as long as yesterday, and just to get you in focus. So the way I want to do that right now is we're going to get you into this method very quickly and very easily by simply asking you now to relax. And we're going to use the 3 two, one method. So to do that, just go ahead now and close your eyes. Of course, if you are driving or using any machinery that could be dangerous to your health or anyone else's lives or safety, please stop this video immediately. And um, when you are safe and alone and able to do so, and after you've gotten comfortable putting on a different uh, pair of clothes or looser clothes or gotten more comfortable in a chair or a bed, then go ahead and proceed with the rest of the video. So let's have you close your eyes and just go ahead and take a deep breath for me. Hold it while picturing the number three three times in your mind. And just exhale. One, three. Now inhale again. Picture the number two three times. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And exhale all the way out. And inhale with number one three times. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And exhale all the way out. Your mind and body are becoming deeply relaxed. You may have known what it is like to be relaxed, but each time you practice with me and on your own, you'll become more accustomed and you will fall into this natural trance of being able to hear what your inner mind is trying to say to you. In a moment, I'm going to count backwards from five to one. And as I do, you're going to just find yourself drifting and drifting in peacefulness and tranquility. Five, four, three, two, and one. And what I want you to do right now is I want you just to think about all the stress and tension you've had today, because I'm sure you had some. And I want you to imagine a bubble appearing above your head, a big bubble, and just encasing all of that into the bubble. So let's go ahead now and picture another negative situation or challenging situation and just encapsulate that into another bubble. And just let that bubble rise and rise and rise. And notice as it starts to rise, your body may feel something, it may not, but it's very slowly taking away the stress and the tension of your body. Go ahead and think about a situation, maybe you had an argument or a disagreement with someone today, and picture that situation. And just go ahead and picture it into a big bubble. And let that bubble just sort of float all the way, left, right, left, right, right, left, until you can't see it any anymore, just going up in the sky. And now, go ahead and take for me one of the biggest frustrations you've had in the last 30 days. Picture it now at the top of your head. Encase it with a very big bubble. Just allow that bubble just to float back and forth, left and right, left and right, right and left. And just watch it as it just floats all the way up until you can barely see it anymore, until it is no more. And you're starting to feel a little bit lighter as the body is starting to drain a lot of the stress and tension. You can relax your body even more by simply relaxing your eyelids. Just relax your eyelids now for me, but just allowing them to drop even though they're already closed. And you'll sink deeper in five, four, three, two, and one. Deeper down you go. You're enjoying this, and it is so peaceful and so relaxing. I want you to think of a situation that you might have had at work, or maybe a situation that you had on the road, one that might have annoyed you a little bit or quite a bit. And now just think about the situation and encapsulate it in a bubble. And allow that bubble just to shimmy back and forth, left and right, left and right, 
See the bubble as it just starts to go back and forth and just all the way up into the sky, all the way, way past the clouds till you can't see it anymore. And as you do that, you notice your body's feeling a little bit lighter and you're starting to feel a little bit more calm. You see, you have the control to maintain your life. Sometimes in our world, we get a little bit preoccupied because of a challenging situation or because maybe we see other people out of control or maybe we worry or have a fear. But again, fears are just false evidence appearing real. And if we just take the energy and not worry about something, we'll start to see that our brain and body will start to find a solution to that problem. Think about one of the challenges you recently had in the last 24 hours. Go ahead and picture it in your mind now. Encapsulate into a bubble. And just allow that bubble just to fade and go all the way up into the sky. And as it goes up into the sky and they, all the challenges you have and all the situations that you have encapsulated in bubbles are now totally gone and out of this universe. And you're feeling a little bit more calm and a little more peaceful. And you're starting to realize that you do have control. You have control of your life. You have control of the decisions you make. You have control of the things you do. You have control of the people you're with. You have control of what you say to people. You have control in how you react to people and their reactions of you. You have all the control in the world. In fact, any time from now on that you think of a situation and you feel you don't have control, I want you just to close your eyes and do the 3 one method like we've done. And just say to yourself, I have control. I have control. I have control. My life is in control. I'm going through a situation now, and there's nothing for me to worry about. I am totally in control, and I'm working on a plan to resolve my situation. There's no need to worry, no need to fear. Just allow yourself to relax and just realize that you are in control. You are so peaceful and so in control. Another way to become in control is just to think about right now your heartbeat. And as you think about your heartbeat, I want you to notice how fast your heart is beating right now. If your heart's beating a little bit quickly, that's fine. Just allow yourself to relax a little bit down and one out. A little bit lower. There's no need to be so stressed. Just relax. And you may have dropped a few beats. And you'll feel a little bit more relaxed. And a little bit more at ease because you have control. You have control over your body. You have control over your mind. And you have control over your life. And through your control and through your visualizations, you have the power to manifest and be a positive creator of your reality. Just because something appears a certain way today doesn't mean that's the way it's going to be tomorrow or the way it's going to be in the future. It's just the current situation. Your body can change and adapt. As I talked to you before about neuroplasticity, our brain wants to constantly learn, and it wants to constantly learn new ways to help ourselves achieve our goals. And as we start to relax, and as we start to make more connections with our brain, and we start to understand that we are so connected in this world of life with energy and positivity, and as we start to realize everyone in this world is connected to us, they're connected to us, and we can feel right now as you're laying in the chair, you might sense just a little bit of energy going through your left and right hand. Maybe, maybe not. But if you sense it, you can feel the tingling sensation. It's going through your hands almost in a weird way. You're not really sure why it's happening, but you know that it feels good, and it means that you are relaxing. Your body wants to relax. Your body wants to please you. Your body wants you to be in control of it. You are your own master. 
you are the creator of your universe. Realize that this takes time and it takes patience. So just be thankful for all that you have and be thankful for anything that shows up in your life. Realize that any negative situation that you perceive may not actually be negative, but a blessing in disguise. Something that teaches you something, or maybe something that prevents you from doing something else that could be far worse. So realize that 98% of our fears and troubles are just that, false evidence appearing real, as they all just sort of roll into a ditch before they really become anything that we'd have to worry about. And as you're just sitting in the chair or sitting in the bed, and enjoying hearing my voice and just getting so relaxed and so peaceful. You can't help but notice how your body just wants to sit, relax, and just lay there. And just enjoy the sound of your inner body and your inner peace. In fact, it's so silent right now, you could probably hear the subtle drop of a pin or a needle to the floor. So, so. That's how acute your senses are. And the more you practice, the more you'll pick up on these subtle modalities, things that you normally would miss because you're racing for the prize, but not having time to stop and actually think about what it is you're doing. Sometimes we just need to slow down in life. Slow down so that we can observe everything that's happening to us. Maybe write it down onto a pad and go back to it later and realize what happened in our life. Not why it happened, but realize that everything that happens in life, it's not a coincidence. Things happen in life for a reason, for a purpose. And as I know you're just drawing so deep and so centered into relaxation, and you're enjoying all the rains of positivity just flowing in your body. In fact, right now you may be speechless in your mind, and that's okay. Just realize that you can come to this space anytime you want and relax your beautiful mind and body. And just allow your body to relax and your mind to relax. And if thoughts come in and thoughts go out, it's perfectly normal. Just allow your body and mind to relax as it cycles through. And as you continue to relax, deeper and deeper you go, you notice right now that you can almost hear nothing. Nothing sounds so amazing. You just lay or sit and are so happy with the sound of nothing and how that sound makes your ears feel beautiful and your head feel wonderful and your body feels so amazing and the fact that you are so empowered right now you are a creature that is so empowered and able to achieve what you want because you have learned so many priceless lessons. And anytime you need to realize that you're in control, all I want you to do is take your three fingers like you're going to do right now and put your thumb and index finger together in both hands. And anytime that you feel that you're not in control, You'll simply put your thumb and index finger together in either hand or both hands. It doesn't matter. But anytime your thumb and index finger are together in one hand or the other or both, your mind will bring you right back to where you are right now. You won't even need to close your eyes and you'll realize that you're in control and everything is okay. Now in a moment, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to count you back up from one to five. At the count of five, you will open your eyes, feeling wide awake, in perfect health, feeling much better than you did before. You will have no ill effects whatsoever in your head, no buzz in your head, no buzz in your ears, no ill effects whatsoever in your eyesight, 
no blurriness. Eyesight, vision, and hearing improve every time you function within these levels of the mind. And one, you're starting to notice a little bit of energy just trickling into your toes. Very slowly, that energy is just coming up to the metatarsals. And one and a half, it's coming up just up into the shins and into your knees. Circling your knees and just allowing you to relax and just sort of float on this energy. And two, coming up into your thigh area, into your groin and pelvic region. Two and a half, coming up into your abdomen and lower stomach area. Three, coming up into your heart and thoracic cavic, cavity area. And coming up a little bit further, three and a quarter, coming up to your neck. Four, coming up to your face, coming up to your mouth, cheek, nose, ears, four and a half, and up to your eyes, five, open your eyes, wide awake, feeling much better than you did before. And how do you feel, ladies and gentlemen? And the answer is better and better. So the next time you feel yourself losing control, whether it's in your own situation or something else that appears beyond your scope, just hold your thumb and index finger together and you'll be able to harness the power that I have put into you right now. I've given you a gift to help you get more control of yourself. And the more you do this and the more you practice with me and the more you practice with yourself, you're gonna become an even better person that your brain is gonna be able to form through the neuroplasticity of the connections that your brain is now starting to appreciate. One of the reasons many people don't achieve their goals is because they don't learn how to connect their left and right hemispheres of the brain together. The more you can get them to talk to each other, the more your body can become a totally amazing speechless person. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is John Morley. I want to thank you very much for tuning into Positive Vibrational Waves, inviting you to click on, of course, that link down below, subscribe, and also to click on the bell notification icon so that you can be notified when I release new content. I hope you'll choose to share this with your friends, families, and colleagues. And if you know of someone that is having an issue with control, share this video with them as well as the others. And I think they will thank you for it. Remember, you are a remarkable person and our world is made of nothing but energy and waves. And when we start to appreciate and tune into the resonance of these waves, we can truly manifest the reality and the desires that only seemed like a figment of our imagination. I wish you a good night and I will see you tomorrow.